Trump is the United States president. He is literally the only one who can change the shutdown and reopen the government. He's the only one. The whole shutdown is about a border wall that can never happen. And he's the only guy, the only guy who can open the government. Because he's the only one who can say, we really don't need this border wall. And I'm the president of the United States and I'm not going to continue this silly fight. He's the only guy who can say that. Now we're about to have a new Congress. So 50% of the government is going to be the Democrats. There's no way they're going to build this wall, Trump. It's not going to happen. You're the only person, you're the only single person who can reopen the government. And you can simply do that by saying, this fucking wall is stupid. Or you don't have to word it that way. You can word it, you can spin it how you want, but you're the only person who can change it. Literally the only person who can reopen the government. Because if they send a bill without the border wall and you veto it, then guess what? The, the government won't open because you're going to veto the bill. So there has to be a budget bill that you'll sign. So you're going to veto any bill that doesn't have wall funding in it. So you are literally the only person who can open the government. The President of the United States has the ability to veto almost everything. Not everything, exactly. If it has a supermajority, it, it overrides a veto. That's a whole other conversation. But for the majority, in most cases, the President has the ability to veto anything. So if there was a bill sent to him that didn't have border wall, he could veto that. And the government would stay shut down. So th that's why they're not sending a bill through the Congress and the Senate because they know he'll veto it if it doesn't have the border wall. And that's why the Republicans are claiming. So the Republicans have an out in this. That's what they also know. That they know they have an out because they know that they can say, look, why are we going to send that bill? Because we send that bill to Trump and he's going to veto it. That's their out. Trump, you are literally the only one who can reopen the government. We're going to have a shutdown. There's nothing we can do about that. With the government. We're going to have a shutdown. There's nothing we can do about it, Trump. You're the only one who can do something about it. So you're right. There's nothing we can do about it. You can do something about it. You're the president of the United States. Not us. You. Remember remember when you were remember when you were down there in the <laughs> in Puerto Rico and she said and you told her you told the mayor of Puerto Rico you didn't know who the president was? And she reminded you that you're the president? Well, Trump, I'm reminding you once again that you are the president of this country that we call the United States of America. That's where you're president, sir. I know, I know this is hard. This is a government shutdown of a government that you run. You can reopen the government if you sign a bill without wall funding in it. Do you understand? Are you listening? You are the president. This is your shutdown. No one else's. It's yours. So instead of being on Twitter, where you should be celebrating the holidays with your family, you're running rampant on Twitter. As always, instead of doing that, since you chose... This silly path that you wanted to take because you thought you could get some political points from it. I don't know if you can get political points from it, but hell if you're not trying. Sir, this is your shutdown. You don't deserve political points whether you get them or not. I'm not here to say whether you get them or whether you don't get them. The only time will tell. Trump, this is your shutdown. That's not coming from a Democrat. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm a registered independent. Am I liberal? Yes, sir, I am. I don't deny it, but I'm not a Democrat. And, and I tell you what, this is your shutdown because this is about a border wall that you and only you and some of your deplorable supporters approve of. You haven't been seen anywhere for three days except for Twitter. Days, except on Twitter, where he has been making grievance the reason for the season. 
tweeting, I'm all alone, poor me, in the White House, waiting for Democrats to come back and make a deal on desperately needed border security. No, that's not desperately needed, Trump. Not true. Not true. Quit saying that. No one fucking even wants this goddamn wall, but you and your lunatic supporters. And let me remind you, you never won the popular vote. So you do not speak for the majority. You speak for the minority. And I mean, the group of people that voted for you are the minority. You are not the majority. You didn't win an election by the majority. You didn't win the popular vote. And you can never claim that you have the voice of the majority because of that. You are the minority. This border wall that some of your supporters might want are in the minority. You understand they're a loud group of people, but they do not represent the masses. We've seen that on the last election day when the Democrats took over. Now, I'm not a Democrat. I'm going to keep coming back to that. But guess what? This is your shutdown, Trump. This is not, I don't even think this is a Republican shutdown. I don't think this is a Democrat shutdown. I don't think it's an independent shutdown. I think this is 100% a Donald Trump shutdown. Donald Trump, do you realize 800 federal employees are without a paycheck on Christmas Day because of you? Do you understand? Mr. Donald Trump, do you understand you effectively fired their paychecks? 800,000 employees on Christmas Day. And so what if they're going to get back pay? They're not going to have a paycheck. Some of those people are minimum wage people living paycheck to paycheck. And because of you, Donald Trump, they're not going to get a paycheck. That is 100% your fault, Donald Trump. This isn't even the Republicans' fault. This is not their fault. They're following the clown because you're the clown leader at the front of their circus. But let me tell you, I don't blame Republicans for this. I blame Donald Trump and solely Donald Trump. I know, I know that the speak, the you know, I know Rand Paul. I, I know that he has a lot. He has a lot of control. But this isn't his fault. Yes, he won't speak badly about Trump because he'll play politics and that's of the president of the same party. I don't hold this against him. I hold this solely. This shutdown is on Donald Trump. This is not a Republican shutdown. We got to quit. We got to separate these two. Donald Trump is no Republican. He is not the president of Lincoln. You hear me? He's not of the same party as the president Lincoln. It's not the case. This is no Ronald Reagan, folks. This is a crazy fucking psychopathic nut job that we have as our president of the United States. This ain't no Ronald Reagan. This ain't even no George W. Bush. George W. Bush makes this guy look like a saint. You hear me? Like a fucking saint. This is a nut. He shut down the very fucking government that he controls and he did it intentionally. I know we've had shutdowns for the past three administrations. But no, not, not Bush not Obama, not Hillary Clinton, hell not Bush, Bush won. None of them shut down the government intentionally. None of them. This motherfucker shut the government down intentionally. Not Bush one, not Bush two, not Bill Clinton, not Obama. None of those presidents intentionally shut down our government. Intentionally. Because they love their country. No matter if they're Democrat or Republican, they would never get political points by shutting down the government because they know that it costs the American people too much. This motherfucker in the White House, this terrorist that we have running our country, he doesn't care. He doesn't give no fucks about you, 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 and you. None of you. He don't care about none of you. Zilch. White America, Black America, Hispanic America, Muslim America, Jewish America, he doesn't give no fucks about any of you. That's why... Look, look, it doesn't matter. You want to watch some Fox? You want to watch some Fox? You don't like CNN? It doesn't matter. They all know this guy's a fucking nut. He is a fucking nut. That's why Fox didn't want him to win. They might be hardcore fucking Republicans, but they're one of the Ted Cruz's of the fucking world. You know, I disagree with Ted on almost every fucking issue. You can imagine that I'm a liberal. I disagree with Ted Cruz on almost every fucking issue. Jed Bush, I disagree with on a lot of issues, not every issue, it's definitely not as many as Ted. But I'll tell you one thing I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. 
Ted loves his country. You hear me? Ted Cruz loves his country. Well, I disagree with him on a lot of issues. I know Ted loves his country. And Jeb Bush, another high-level Republican, he loves his country. Barack Obama said this president is uniquely unqualified. He is that, folks. Jed Bush wouldn't shut the government down intentionally. George W. Bush wouldn't shut down the country intentionally. George H. W. Bush, God rest his soul, wouldn't shut down the government intentionally. Barack Obama wouldn't shut down the government intentionally. Bill Clinton wouldn't shut down the country intentionally. Ronald Reagan wouldn't shut down the country intentionally. Theodore... This is unprecedented. This is fucking ridiculous. Our president, quite simply, there is no other way to put it, has no respect for the country that he is in control of. And he doesn't even know that he has control. This motherfucker had to be told by a mayor that he was their fucking president. That's how misinformed this fucking idiot is. And it's not because he's not smart. The guy has a high IQ. I tell people this all the time. This isn't because Donald Trump isn't smart. This is because Donald Trump does gives no fucks about you. Right? This motherfucker stood and said, if I shot somebody in 4th Avenue, I'd still win. Well, guess what? He said that, and he still won. When are we going to wake up? When are you going to make that statement not true? I know you have to do it in the next election, right? You have to. You have to say, if you stand in 4th Avenue and you shoot a man in the face, yes, Trump, you're not going to be president. If you shut our government down intentionally and you don't try to govern the president, the, the, the country that you are the president of, if you don't try to govern as the leader of the government, if you intentionally shut the government down. Look, government shutdowns happen. They happened under Obama. They happened under Bush. They've happened under Bill Clinton. Government shutdowns happen. But never before has a president intentionally shut down the fucking government. We've lost all the revenue. That's why that fucking Dow Jones plunged on Christmas Eve. Right? And people say, well, stock market will come back. And it will. But it'll never, it won't be Christmas in 12 days or 13 days or 15 days. So all that money that could have been bought on Christmas presents and all this shit where people do that kind of stuff, all that stock that could have been bought, it won't happen because the Christmas Eve only happens once a year. Tomorrow's Christmas Day. And once again, we will. Once again, we're going to continue to see off-share trading, off-day trading. You're going to still see that. Closed-day trading, you're still going to see that. When the stock market opens after the New Year's, what should have been holiday spending, you're not going to see good trade days. You understand? On days that typically would have been great because they're holidays. Everything after from Black Friday to New Year's is supposed to be the biggest sell days for retailers, there are. And that all depends on stocks. A lot of that depends on stocks. Not all of it, but a lot of it. That's Donald Trump's fault. Because of a government shutdown that he caused over a border wall that nobody fucking wants on, on this side of insanity. No one. No fucking normal person thinks we need to build a wall because we know walls don't work. We know people can tunnel under walls, climb over walls, go through walls. Or just get a visa and avoid the wall. Donald Trump, you are a fucking nut job. Do you hear me? You're a fucking terrorist that hates America and you're running the fucking country you hate. The only thing you fucking want to do is build a Trump Tower in fucking Moscow and you got your signature to fucking prove it. The whole world knows it. The only, and even the fucking Trump supporters who say that what I'm saying about fucking he wanted the Trump Tower after a fucking signature came out that said he was going to build a fucking Trump Tower in Moscow. And they still sit around and say, fuck you. You hear me for saying that? It, it's ridiculous. You know damn well there's collusion with Russia and all his supporters that don't speak out against him. They're not cool people, man. They're just not cool people. And listen, again, I love my, some of my best friends are Republicans. Right, I have. I'm okay with it if you're a Republican. I'm not okay if you support this guy who clearly hates his country and you call yourself an American. This guy doesn't love his country. He is fucking crazy. He shut down the very fucking government that he is at the helm of and then tried to blame it on other people. Tweets about it all goddamn night, but has done nothing about it like a fucking crybaby bitch he is. 
It's just, it's just fucking unreal. And when's it going to fucking stop? When's it fucking going to stop? Anybody fucking know? Does anybody even care anymore? Okay, let's talk about this court order of this company. So apparently in the, the lower courts have ordered that the company that most likely, and we don't know much because we don't know the country that the court is, this, but it's a belief that this is definitely about the, the Mueller investigation into Russia and is there collusion with Trump. First of all, folks, we all know that there's fucking collusion, right? But based off who's going in and out of the courtroom, we also can suspect, but still suspecting, but suspecting with um, educated suspecting, I'll say, which is that there's a company that is only named as Company A, and then the countries are named as Country A, that we can suspect that the country is Russia, and the company is some company that Donald Trump was doing business with in Russia. Now, the lower courts have want this to go on, but the company has challenged and asked for it to go to the Supreme Court, which it has. And they've, 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 you know, said that we can't talk about, that the court can't, that Mueller can't talk about this until he gets more time from the Supreme Court ruling whether he can talk about this in his case. Because the company is fighting it tooth and nail, which is guilty. Usually, usually I would say that, um, that they're probably really fucking guilty, but you know, that's, that's, I won't go that far, but, uh, yeah, they're guilty. <laughs> Anyways, I think the company, ultimately the court order is going to be, I, I truly believe that they have to let Mueller investigate, not be guilty, but at least investigate, which I think obviously Mueller is, done a really good job with this um, investigation so he's not barking up a silent tree he's barking up a tree with coons in it and he's going to find out that that this company has a lot of information that Trump doesn't want anybody to know and who this company is and it's got some I believe that we're going to find out that this has something to do with the Trump Tower that was supposed to be built in Moscow that he signed the signature to and we've already seen the signature for that building we know that exists so we also know that he was obviously making some kind of deal with the russian government for the tower in exchange for winning an election here in america which is clearly collusion Donald trump says there's no evidence of collusion but there's evidence everywhere trump <laughs> not just some places just just everywhere so yeah here, here we are and I, I think when we get this court ruling, probably after the first of the year, we're, we're going to start seeing some real evidence, um, which I think there's plenty. I think the signature was the damp. I think that was the smoking gun. And I, I mean, that was his signature that said he wanted a bill that he was contracted for a contract for Trump Tower in Russia, in Moscow. How, do, what do you fucking want? Do you want a video? Of him actually building a fucking tower? <laughs> so, I mean, if you don't see that as clear evidence, clear collusion with Russia in exchange for a win as President of the United States and that they would put out enough propaganda and they would use put out enough dirt on Hillary Clinton that they could win. That they would, you know, try to compromise her emails or anything of that nature. I think that's – they knew what was in the emails. That's why Donald Trump wanted to release the emails. That's why he stood at a campaign rally and said, Russia, I want your help to get the emails. <laughs> Evidence is every goddamn where. Every damn where. It's clear collusion. Again, back to the shutdown. The reason for the shutdown is quite simple. He wants to shut down the government. Because he believes that eventually it will shut down the Robert Mueller investigation. It's the whole reason we're having a shutdown right now. This motherfucker doesn't care that it's costing 800,000 people their jobs. He doesn't care that it's going to add billions, maybe trillions to the fucking national debt. It makes no fucking difference to him. As long as he doesn't get caught for what he, know he, know, for what he knows he has done. It doesn't matter. 
you're just as a American citizen, you're a sacrificial lamb that he's willing to fucking slay his throat for no fucking reason as long as he gets away with it. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Last night, there was supposed to be a fine, right? There was supposed to be a fine for any day that they didn't comply with the Mueller investigation. They put a hold on it. The court order from the Supreme Court came down that said there won't be a fine until an order is actually made. Well, if so, if they're ordered to do something, then the fine would reinstate. But right now, there will be no fine for this company for not complying. They're going to get a stall period to um, comply until a court order comes down. Because uh, Justice Roberts, uh, he he he, um, it, it is basically a continuance that, to dumb it down a little bit. He he asked for a continuance. It's not that's not what it is, but. If you're in court on a lower level, it's a continuance. So the the government has been ordered to respond by December 31st. The foreign government, which I, again, believe is Russia, but we don't know that. The foreign government is ordered to respond by December the 31st. So that's very, very immediate. It's now, uh, it, it's the 25th, it's Christmas Day. So he he's got till the 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 thirtieth. I think that's the right date. Anyways, by the end of December, he ha he has to respond to this, and of course, then the court will act. And you know, usually these things would just roll through. Mueller could do what he wants, so it's very unusual. But this is a high level. This is multiple governments in play here. It, this is multiple major companies. Donald Trump is a big businessman. There's no doubt about that. So we're dealing with big players. And it, implications are obviously that Trump could be impeached. I mean, it's, it's, it's real. And never American. And honestly, we've come close. But we've never actually impeached a president. This is probably the most evidence ever put against the president for potential impeachment. I, I still struggle to believe that we can impeach him because there. I, we don't have the Republican support unless they could come aboard, which I don't know if they will. I really don't. Right now, um, I know the Democrats are gonna they're gonna do it. They're gonna they're gonna at least impeach him. They're gonna impeach him in the House. There's no doubt about that. That's gonna happen. Um, whether he gets impeached by his Republican um, Senate, I, I, I that'll be that that's harder for me to believe. Will they actually come around to do it? He will get impeached by the House. See, Trump's support for the border wall funding has even begun to question if this is all for show. And of course it's for show. And that's why, and I think Republicans have to do this because otherwise you're, as Republicans, you're going to get blamed for this shutdown. This is, but again, I keep coming back to this. This is not a Republican shutdown. This is a Donald Trump shutdown. And they have all the reason, as a Republican... This is they need to say this is your shutdown. This doesn't belong to us. This belongs to your jackass. The government shutdown. The stock market crumbling. stock market crumbling and turnover in his administration, the president is going to... The stock market falling? It's all a Donald Trump problem. This is Donald Trump's fault that the stock market plunged on Christmas Eve. That's his fault. And it is now, when I'm recording this, it is 5.44 a.m. in the morning. Christmas Day, 5.44 in the morning. I'm here to tell you, I don't know what the stock market's going to do, but I got a pretty good suspicion it's not going to look any better. On Christmas Day, another holiday, another day where we should have seen massive spending. We're not going to see that because people are in fear that our government is closed. People are in fear. Some people don't have paychecks. 800,000 people don't have paychecks, so they're not going to go out and spend money. That's Donald Trump's fault. This is Donald Trump's shutdown. And can we all remember? Can, can, can we all remember? That none of this is what Trump promised. Trump promised that this wall would be paid for by Mexico in full. Not the taxpayer. 
not the American taxpayer, not that it was going to come from the American Treasury. That's not what Trump promised. He promised that this wall would be paid for by Mexico, that Mexico would pay for this wall. Now he's trying to do something completely different than what he campaigned on. Remember when he told you that the wall would be paid for by Mexico? Now he's not even mentioning things like that. He lied. If you are a Trump supporter, you have been lied to. If you are not a Trump supporter, you never bought the lies, and none of this that I'm saying surprises you. And you knew from get-go that this guy was a lunatic. But if you are a Trump supporter, then you really genuinely think that this wall is good. Well, I'm here to tell you he's already proved it's not by lying to you and told you Mexico was going to pay for it. He's already lying. I mean, that's coming from his new treasury, right? That's coming from his new person that he just, this is not new views that, th these are new views coming out of a new person that he just appointed. All right. <sighs> I digress. I try to. We are now three days, five hours, 47 minutes into a government shutdown. That was 100% Trump's fault. We're three days, five hours, and 48 minutes, nine seconds into that shutdown. It's Christmas Day. We are hours away from the stock market. Oh, closing, crashing again, plunging again, are we? Uh, that's a question, really. What, 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 what's going to happen when the stock market's open the next time? What's going to happen if we really don't get this government shutdown to end and it lasts an entire, another week at least into the new year for the new Congress to come in? It's a long fucking time, a whole fucking week. We have no fucking clue what that would mean. That is uncharted waters to be in a shutdown for that period of time. And the length of time that I think is going to pass for this government is going to set all kinds of government shutdown records. I think this will be the longest shutdown in American history. Anyways, I'm Kent Jones. I'm sure I'll do some more videos today, but you'll definitely talk to me probably some least in the next 72 hours. But guess what? Leave a comment in this video. Tell me what you really think if you disagree. And I know a lot of you do, and that's okay. Again, but if you think because I'm a liberal, I'm a Democrat, I want you to know that's not true. But if you just disagree with me fundamentally, I understand. Leave a comment below. Also, like this video, please. Even if you disagree, it does, please support what we're doing at Full Entertainment Media. And I truly believe in giving each and every one of you a voice. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel, Full Entertainment Media. God bless each and every one of you. Please subscribe to the channel. It really means something to me. God bless each and every one of you. Democrat, Republican, Obama said it in 2004. This is not about red states. This is not about blue states. This is about the United States. We are one nation under God that pledge our allegiance to the stars and the stripes. We are always a nation that is in the pursuit of happiness. That means that we might not have happiness, but we are always in the pursuit of happiness. We don't have a perfect union, a perfect country, but we are always in the pursuit of a more perfect union. For those who do not believe we can overachieve, those who do not believe we can reach our goals, that we can dethrone tyrant presidents, that we can dethrone tyrant police, that we can dethrone things that we do not believe and things that we are have been wrong done by our government. For those who do not believe, there is always that creed. Yes, we can. God bless each and every one of you. And whether you like Obama, clearly I do. Or not. You can still, if you have a heart, be in you. You can understand the creed that I just said. It's the American creed. Yes, we can. Yes, we can overcome police brutality. 
yes, we can overcome a government that doesn't care for us as much as it should. Yes, we can right the wrongs that our own government has done to us. And I don't care if you're a Republican. I don't care if you're a Democrat. I don't care what ethnicity you are. I don't care what race you are. I, I, that doesn't matter to me. This is an issue of a president that has lost his mind and it has trickled down. Our last president, I truly believe, was trying to fight the war on police brutality. He really was. Did it get did, some of that stuff got brought to high, the? We've seen famous cop block videos because when Eric Holder in New York got choked out for. I might have that name wrong. But he, the guy that got choked out in New York over selling a cigarette, a single cigarette, got choked to his death by police. That was a cop block video. Let's call it what it is. A cop watch video, at least. That is activism. That's what this is. We have to change our government. Because it has lost track of what it's supposed to represent, and it is supposed to represent the American citizens, the people who voted for the elected officials. That's why we need term limits. That, that's why we have to vote hard on term limits and only support people who support term limits so we can get rid of career politicians. That's why we have to actually impeach a president to prove that we will. If you act like a tyrant, we're going to... Do what tyrant what should happen to tyrants. Incarcerate your ass. If you act like a police that is above the law, we're gonna prove that you're not by incarcerating your ass. If you impede traffic as an officer of the law, you will get fined and penalized the same way we do when we impede traffic. If you speed as an officer of the law, we will pull you over. You will get ticketed and penalized until we get to that moment as we seek a more perfect union in the greatest damn country on the face of the earth. And I do believe America is the greatest damn country on the face of the earth and that we are always in the pursuit of happiness to form a more perfect union. I truly believe that. And I will leave you with this. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And Merry Christmas to all of you. It is December the 25th. I am Kent Jones for Full Entertainment Media. I love each and every one of you. God bless each and every one of you.